Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 10 Vivid Voltage Pokemon Booster Packs. Of course, Vivid Voltage is the newest set in the TCG, official release date, November 13th, 2020. Now this is already the fourth main Sword and Shield series set. Of course, the featured Pokemon for this set and the card I hope to pull, Pikachu VMAX, specifically the Rainbow Rare version. Now these packs I did buy individually from the Pokemon Center online for $3.99 a piece. Surprisingly, Vivid Voltage is sold out pretty much everywhere. I think that's due to somewhat of a short print for the initial wave of Vivid Voltage products. But like I said, I am a big fan of this set because of Pikachu as well as the amazing rares available in the reverse holo slot of these packs. So let's jump into opening Vivid Voltage and maybe I'll hit gold and get that Pikachu VMAX Rainbow Rare. Before I do that, I'll jump on over to TCG Player and look at the price guide. As you can see, the Pikachu VMAX that I've been talking about this whole time, $239.21. Now, I have been pretty lucky lately, was able to pull out the Charizard GX Rainbow Rare from the collector's chest opening that I did. So maybe my luck will carry over from that video. This set is pretty good overall, both as a collector and for a competitive player. Something like Nessa is very good for water type decks. Bia, very good for fighting type decks. So head back over to the overhead camera view and I'll just open up each pack one by one. You can see the Pikachu VMAX on the first pack here. These are the packs that are available at stores like Walmart or GameStop, things like that. Of course, the best bet would be to go and buy a booster box. Booster boxes have somewhat guaranteed pull rates. So a Pokemon new to the TCG and Vivid Voltage on the cover artwork here, Zarude. It is available as a Pokemon V, 10 different Pokemon V in Vivid Voltage. Now, with a pack like this, with a green colored code card, you're not going to get anything great in that final spot. However, that amazing rare still could be in the pack. And there is a Charizard available in this set as well. First pack of the 10 starts with Charmander. Chadot, a good attack on this card, allowing you to search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and put them into your hand. Joltik, Cottony. Mudbray, rolling in the mud there. Lightning type energy. Drone Rotom. Swoobat. Excadrill. Reverse hollow of a Tynamo, a common. Rare here would be an Explowed. So from these 10 packs, I would like to get two or three good cards. Rare hollow or better. Of course, I'll summarize all of my good pulls at the end of this video. Hopefully, I will have some to summarize, of course, you can see my Charizard play mat down there. Usually brings me some good luck. Did get this also from the Pokemon Center. I am a big fan of Charizard. Charizard is my favorite Pokemon of all time. I think this play mat really looks nice on camera. Now, I have had decent success with Vivid Voltage pulling the Pikachu V Max, but not so much the Rainbow Rare. This pack starts with Electric, Pineco, Mudbray, Poochiana, Charmander, Fighting Type Energy, Drone Rotom, Swoobat, Excadrill, Reverse Hollow. There we go! Could be the best amazing rare in Vivid Voltage in Jirachi. A great attack, but the main reason you want to use this card for its ability. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on the active, is in the active spot rather, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them into your hand, put the other card back on top of your deck. So similar to, I believe, the Jirachi from Team Up, and then Amazing Star, if you can get the three different energy types attached to Jirachi, maybe with something like an Aurora energy, 
search your deck for up to two up to seven basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. So you can essentially win the game if you use Amazing Star and just accelerate lots of energy to your Pokemon. This last time I checked was a $20 card. And then the final card would be a Fortress. So there are what amazing Pokemon six different ones in vivid voltage I believe the Jirashi is the most valuable and I'll take that any day should be able to scroll down this list $19.52 is the price for that card it is the most valuable amazing rare Rayquaza is actually right behind it at $16 and what I like quite well is the Sheehan that is probably my favorite but Jirachi might be growing on me because I have had decent success with it. Alrighty, so not any white card code cards yet, but a decent pull so far. And let's see if I can open one of these without going to the overhead view. You have to be careful here and not rip into any of the cards. Zarud on this one, a grass type Pokemon V that can accelerate energy to your Pokemon. 0 for 3 so far, but like I said, that Jirachi paid for what? About half of these packs. Clefairy, no longer are there fairy type Pokemon in the TCG. Clefairy here, a psychic type. Tynamo, Milsery, Galarian Meowth, Chimico, Metal type Energy, Cramorant, Kakuna, Sir Chester Bath, Reverse solo of a Whimsicott. This would be a rare. Two rares is always nice. And the final card would be a Ninjask. Now, thank you everyone for watching this video as it premieres. I always join in the live chat and follow along with everybody and try to get back to as many people as possible. If you are watching this video after the premiere, also greatly appreciated. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Leave a like. And then if you would like to support my channel even more, there's several things that you can do. I guess the easiest thing would be to donate via the live chat, the super chat and super stickers. Or you could always become a patron of mine. I actually have some autograph cards for sale on eBay. Here's two different versions of them. And you'll find links in the description of this video for those listings. And then you could also purchase my book, Pokemon Cards, The Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. So this pack starts with Clobopus, Skiddo, Shuppet, Pharaoh Seed, Joltik, Psychic Type Energy, Electric, Delmise, Galarian Stunfisk, Reverse Solo of a Nuzleaf, this would be an uncommon, rare here, whoa, a Colossal V Max, so not the Pikachu Rainbow Rare, but this is the Colossal V Max, and this opening has been made, I'll look at the price guide, but this is a great attacker in a fighting type deck, of course, Pikachu and Zekrom GX, weak to fighting type Pokemon. Eternatus VMAX, weak to fighting type Pokemon. And GMAX Bowler can do 240 damage and easily knock out those Pokemon in one attack. But rainbow rare cards like this, very tough to pull. You're looking at 1 in 72 packs. So you know it's a good video when I'm going to TCG Player, the price guide. Twice already, we're only what? Eight minutes into the video. So, Colossal VMAX Rainbow Rare, $17.46. So, that is excellent. Now, I know I did f rustle some feathers a little bit, ruffle some feathers with the thumbnail that I posted when I pulled that Charizard GX Rainbow Rare from Burning Shadows. It wasn't really clickbait just because I had that good of pull. And that's something I try to avoid on my channel is really having fake reactions or really trying to essentially get viewers to click on my videos for a reason that isn't deserved. But this has pretty amazing pulls so far. And that's one reason I like opening Vivid Voltage because there are valuable cards. Can't wait until Shining Fates is released in February. Poochiana starts this one. 
Charmander, Shadot, Joltik, Cottony, Fighting Type Energy, Go Goat, Wind and Stadium, Matang, Reverse Hall of a Dialga. This is a rare. And the final card would be a Beedrill. I know when I opened up Evolutions, Beedrill would be the card that I would get all of the time. So what are we, halfway through this 10 booster pack opening? I take those poles all over again. I guess I could show the back of this pack. Let's go to the beginning view. I know this is auto focus to focus down here, but there's the different cover artwork designs. And there are 203 total cards in this set. 185, I believe, in the base of the set. So let's rip this one open. Or Beetle VMAX, a great way to spread damage around. Zarud on this one. I've actually seen Vivid Voltage a few times at my local Walmart. Have not bought anything outside of some check lane blisters and three pack blisters, but every time I go back after that, Vivid Voltage is long gone. Alrighty, so this pack starts with C Dot, Electrike, Clefairy, Fampy, Yanma, Lightning Type Energy, Ferrothorn, Carlis, Dusclops, Reverse Hall of a Nessa. I'd like to pull Nessa in full art form. This is uncommon rarity wise. Put up to four in any combination of water Pokemon and water energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Rare here would be a Togekiss V, and this would be a V full art. So for those in the live chat, that would be an elbow cough or a dab. Wow, the good pulls are continuing. Now, the one thing I would say about the Pokemon Center before the just the crazy demand for Pokemon cards, Pokemon Center was a great place to purchase cards from because they ship your order. You'd get it in two to three days. Now, if you go to their website, they have a notice right on there that it could take up to two weeks to ship your order. Better be careful on this one because I might be ripping through the pack. Hopefully, I don't rip through it. I know when Carla normally joins on the live streams, I always comment that if I was to pull something good, it just went from about a PSA 10 to a PSA 7 with how she handles some of the cards. And I hope everyone is enjoying Carla, my wife, on some of my videos. I enjoy spending the time with her. Beldum starts this one. Blitzel. Mill Street, just shaking my head in astonishment. Very happy with the pulls. Mill Street, Skiddo, Eevee, Water Type Energy, Shuckle, Cramorant, Drone Rotom, Reverse Sullivan, Execute, just a common. Rare here would be a Toucanon. Toucan Sam from Fruit Loops, that's what it makes me think of. Three packs left to go. Let's make sure that the pack is at the bottom and rip across. Looks like an Orbital VMAX. Like I said, that Colossal VMAX. Early on, if I would have pulled that card, it was very valuable. Let's see here. Another green colored code card. But like I said in the open, two to three good cards. And I would consider that Diane, or actually the Jirachi. I was thinking, going way back to Prism Star cards, Jirachi, Amazing Rare, is pretty good. Of course, Diancy Prism Star in the Buzzwool GX deck that I used. Trubbish starts this one. Shuppet, Choodle, Riolu, Eevee, Fire-type Energy, Jirfrig, Moo Moo Cheese, Duat, Reverse holo of a Charmander, a common. Rare here would be a Dredna. Now, Dredna VMAX is a card I pulled lots in Champion's Path. As of this recording, I still have not pulled either of the two very valuable Charizard cards in that set. I've said it a few times, but my co-worker and a friend of mine pulled out two shiny Charizard Vs from one Elite Trainer box. Talk about some amazing luck. He was at about the same point as me, where he was just so frustrated with Champion's Path. He was done with the set. 
he had ordered a couple of Elite Trainer boxes, essentially pre-ordered them from the Pokemon Center. We received those in late November, and he was so happy he did not cancel his order. Chat out starts this one. One pack left to go. Clobopus, Skiddo, Shuppet, Pharaoh Seed, Metal Type Energy, Hitmon Top, Swoobat, Mag Cargo, Reverse Solo of a Rockruff, a common, rare here, would be a Gen Mega. And that is what I like to do is I try and hide the code card from myself as well. And I know when I pulled out the Charizard GX Rainbow Rare, if you want to see a good reaction, watch that opening because I about lost it pulling that card. I was so happy. I had no clue that that card was in the final spot. Sometimes when I'm going through the cards, I can sort of see a darker edge towards the back. That one, I had no clue that there was an ultra rare or anything in the back. So I'm going to close my eyes, pretend I'm like Michael Jordan, opening up booster packs. He's shooting a free throw with his eyes closed. I'll open up the booster pack with my eyes closed and set the code card aside. Final pack here. Wish me some last pack magic in the live chat. Thanks again, everyone, for joining. Final pack starts with Pineco, Clefairy, Tynamo, Milsery, Galarian Meowth, Water-type Energy, Heroes Metal, a very good tool card. Actually, a very interesting is a trade-off for Pokemon VMAX. If you attach it to your VMAX, the HP is decreased by 100, but then if your opponent knocks it out, they only get two prize cards instead of three. Galarian Stunfisk, Sableye, Reverse Solo of a Cottony, a common, rare here would be a Samurai Water-type starter. Normally I'm a big fan of Water-type starters. So a pretty amazing opening, I know in the live chat, a lot of people like to give my pulls a rating. I would say 10 out of 10 here because I pulled two very valuable cards. I can look at that Togekiss V Full Art as well. I know the V Max of Togekiss is somewhat competitive. And it is a little bit disappointing just because I am a competitive player that the prices of the competitive cards are not very much right now. It's good. In that if you want to jump into the competitive scene, it doesn't cost as much. But the low prices just mean, means there's no demand right now. Essentially because all public events are canceled. Alrighty, so from the 10 booster packs, again from the Pokemon Center, $3.99 each. Was able to pull out two rare reverse solos in Whimsicott and Dialga. I'll take these pulls any day. No rare hollows. The amazing rare of Jirachi. Now these are very cool. This part is textured and then the rainbow pattern does come outside of the illustration window. These have their own rarity with an A down there. Togekiss V Full Art. And I'm going to look up the price of this card in a moment. And then probably my favorite pull of the opening, easily the rarest, the Colossal V Max Rainbow Rare. And I do prefer the rainbow rares from Sword and Shield as opposed to Sun and Moon. I think this texture looks better. So I'll jump on over to the price guide again. Thanks everyone for watching. So Togekiss, I might just sort this by name. I should have actually reversed that. Togekiss V Full Art would be $6.64, which really isn't terrible. The Togekiss VMAX, the Rainbow Rare, is worth $15.83. And the reason this one is good is because its attack is similar to what something like Sylveon GX could do. You may search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. And then it also does 120 damage. So not a bad card there. I think that will conclude this opening. So again, Thank you everyone for watching. If you have not already, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and then if you would like to support my channel even more, please consider donating. The easiest way, and probably the way that affects me the most, would be purchasing one of my autographs from eBay, and you can find links to both of these listings in the description of this video. There is a custom signature that you can essentially have me write whatever you'd like on it, 
and then there's the standard signature where I can write primetime Pokemon and sign my name. Both of those options are in the link in the description of this video. There'll be links. So thank you everyone for watching. Happy Pokemon card collecting and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.